Hi, I'm Jessica from Wolfpack and uh, Wolfpack1999, and this is Chris. Thank you for being on my channel. Uh, today we're going to be talking about our or my AMSR video. Let's get right into it. This is your your bath bomb video. What was your inspiration behind making this? Just saying that everybody is like, or like bath bombs are like the number one thing right now. And I love bath bombs. So why do you love bath bombs so much that you had to make a video out of it? Because the fizzy, it like fizzes on your skin and it's just soothing. Ah, so it, it, okay. So you wanted to share that soothing effect. Huh? Yeah, the crispy, bubbly sounds. And, yeah. Um. Now I noticed in this video, you don't have you know any background music. You're not talking at all. Was that on purpose? Yes, that was on purpose. It's part of the ASMR, is to be able to hear the noises that you're trying to portray, which I was trying to portray the bubbling sound, mm -hmm. which is, yeah, soothing. Oh, uh, okay, so you're trying to, you know, accentuate that soothing of the, the bubbliness yeah. of the bath bomb. Yeah. Okay. Um, now, now, in this video, <laughs> you've got, you've done this real nice nude illusion was that on purpose or is that something just kind of accidentally happened it was on purpose it was on purpose even that whole thing where you know you're dipping the thing up the leg and you're like get part way up and you're like oh kneecap. no i ain't gonna show you <laughs> no it was only about the kneecap so i, I could have sworn you went a, just a little higher watch yeah but that, that you're would... coming up in a little bit you'll be able to see that i only went about kneecap maybe a little higher. Yeah, yeah. Well, you did come above the kneecap. And it was like a little bit above the kneecap. Yeah. yeah I, I I could see every thirteen year old boy first time they watch this. <laughs> it's probably like, oh my god, oh my god, she's gonna show something. She's gonna show something. And then when the camera Demonetize. goes back down, oh man. <laughs> yeah. I could see that too. You know, I've been a thirteen year old boy. I. Yeah. Something like that, you know, I would have had the same reaction too. I think this is what we were talking about where you're... Yeah. I know it was when it was actually changing color. So, um... What are some of the, the, the challenges you've had recording? And how did uh, those lessons actually help you re record this? Well, first off, the first thing I had to work on was figuring out how to hold my camera without getting it wet. I ended up using my teeth because I didn't want to get my phone wet or my camera wet. And so I had to work around that. So you're, you're, you're telling me the whole time you're doing this, you're holding the camera like that. <laughs> So you really didn't see what you were recording until you were done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of cool. Yeah. I, I, it's I gotta different. say, say the the way. No, there, there see? it is. Yeah. See? And then you, you see, rinse I didn't it go off. Much above the kneecap. Right. You you want a little, it's not just it's enough not to enough. kind of make somebody think. Oh yeah, she might be going up. No. Nope. Anyway. Yeah. So. <laughs> holding it in your teeth that's Different. that's amazing because I, I was watching this I would swear you know you were like one handing it you know nope, I was you, using you my had teeth the phone the like time. this oh that's I, I'm sorry that's just that that's amazing that you know you got this level of control with your teeth if I try to do something like that you know my everything would fall out and I'd be oh man <laughs> yeah and the color in the beginning was supposed to be red but it turned out to look more orange and that's another thing that I had to work on is or I noticed is that I didn't use the flashlight which I think would have would have shown the color better is oh. by having the flashlight reflect off the water well it, and I've noticed when you're you're doing anything with water Light's real tricky mm -hmm. because not enough light 
It's too thing, shifty. It colors aren't right. Too much light, and you colors got too much flare. Yeah. You know, it, that's why I yeah I when I'm shooting things I try to stay away from water. I don't like it. I try to avoid it <laughs> almost at any cost. Yeah. Um, now after doing this, um, see it looks like grape Kool Aid now. Yeah, yeah. That's what mom said when she came into the bathroom. She's like, "Is that grape Kool Aid?" <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, "No, it was the bath bomb." So, um, at some point, seeing how you, you've done this, at some point, would you be willing to take the bath bomb challenge? I do. You I do? I want to, yeah. You do. Oh, okay. It looks okay. so interesting, and, like, every one that I've watched, it always overflows. So, like, watching from their mistakes and taking that into account, yeah. Y you think you can get it done after yeah. watching all these, huh? Yeah. Well, maybe I'll have to have you back to uh, do that. So, we're probably going to have to work on that. Yeah. I, I, I could see us doing the bath, you know, I, I could see us trying to shoot that. I think that would be a lot of fun for us to team up on that. Yeah. Well, there you have it. That's Jessica's bath bomb video. Uh, that's going to do it. For now, thanks for watching. Hey, if you like what we've done here, hit the like button down below. Uh, if you hit the subscribe button, you'd be updated to any brand new videos coming out. Until then, don't enjoy what you're doing. Rock what you enjoy doing.